Hello everyone, in this series of tutorials, I will show you how to create your own blog, and how to adjust it however you like it. First of all you will have to choose a blog site, where you can create one. Well I suppose that most of you want a free one, so in that case I recommend Blogger. Blogger is a site, where you can create blog for your purpose. The interface is easy to use, you have many different options, to make your blog look amazing, you can even earn with your blog. All you have to possess is, a creativity, interesting theme, and other stuff, which is required for a successful blog. So in this series, I will show you how to create amazing, looking blog. So let's start. First open Google, and type in blogger. Then click on the first link. Here all you have to own is a Google account. If you have one, you can simply sign in with it. If you do not own a Google account, simply click on sign up. And fill the required information, and you will quickly create one. Then just use it to sign to blogger page. I will use my existing Google account to sign in. So let's sign in. Now when you sign in for the first time, you will have to choose some options at the beginning. They are very simple. I am pretty sure that you won't have any problems with that. I do not have to do that because I didn't sign in for the first time. So when you sign in you will see an interface like this one. At the upper right corner you can choose a language of your blogger interface. And if you click on the button on the right you will have the chance to use some more options. You can see the help informations or send a feedback and other options which are not important for now. At the bottom you have the latest news from Blogger. And under the new blog button, you have the choice to add the blog which you would like to follow. You can add them simply with a click on add button. So now let's create a new blog. You can simply do that with button where is written new blog. Click on it. Now you have the option to give a name of your new blog. If you want to do a blog about cooking, choose a creative and interesting name for it or for any other blog. So first give it a title. If you are not sure now, don't worry, you can change it later or whenever you want. Let's say that I want to write about cooking. Then write an address that is just what would be written in your link which will lead the visitors to your blog. You can choose whatever you want. Then choose your blog template. Remember that you can adjust all of this settings in the menu later. So choose a template. And click on create blog. And officially you have created a blog where you have the option to write whatever you want and to share it with anybody. Now let's see how can you adjust the settings of your blog. So the font sizes and colors of the text in your posts, the title of your blog and many more stuff. So whenever you want to create a new post you will have to click on this button. We will explain it more in detail later. If you want to adjust your blog options, click on this button. So first let's explore settings. First we have basic settings. Here you can adjust the title of your blog with a simple click on edit. After you change the settings, confirm the changes with a click on save changes. Then you can write the description of your blog with a click on edit. As always, at the end, click on save changes.
then we can adjust the privacy. The default settings are obviously good. The we can change the blog address, that is a place where your blog will be located. By the way, if you don't want to have a blogspot.com domain, you will have to pay for a .com or any other domain. Then we have an option to add a new authors of the blog. You can do that with a click on add authors button and they will be able to post on your blog. The last option is to choose who can access your blog and your posts, so you can make it private and allow just the authors to see the content of it or just the people which have the your permission. Now let's explore the button posts and comments. Here you have the ability to moderate all the comments on your blog. So you can adjust how many posts you would like to set to be visible per site. I will set to 10. Then the next three options are by default nicely set. On the next option, we can adjust who can comment on your posts. Then we have an option to if we want to moderate comments. Here I suggest to you that you moderate all of the comments. So click on always and enter a mail address where you will receive a mail if somebody commented on your blog and you will be able to allow it or delete it. The last three options are not important at this point. Let's continue with button, mobile and email. First you will have to save your work with clicking on button, save settings. Now click on mobile and email. The first option is pretty much useless. Then we have the option to write the email addresses which will be notified when a new comment is applied. You can write up to 10 email addresses and when a new comment is applied all of them will be notified. Be careful to separate the emails with commas. Now the last option is to add email addresses which would be notified about your new posts. So whenever you create a new post, all the emails which are added in this box will be notified about that. Again click on save settings and let's continue with the language and formatting. Here you can choose a language of your blogger interface. Then we have options to adjust time date and so on. Choose the one which won't be double-edged. Save the changes and open search preferences. Here you can enable a search description which will be used in a search purposes. With other options, we won't be dealing right now. Go and open the last option under settings bar, which is other. Here we have the option if we want to delete our blog. You can do that with click on delete blog. With other options, we won't be dealing at this point. You can even export and import a blog. Now again click on save settings and let's continue with other options. 